Seven million children live in poverty here in Texas. That is one out of every four kids. We're trying to make a difference and help some of those children in need. Only we are, one way we are tackling this problem is by collecting diapers. One in three families don't have enough of them for their babies. Tiffany Craig is at the Kroger and Kirby in South Maine, and that's where we are gathering donations. How's it going, Tiffany? It's going pretty good, but we need a lot more because, as you mentioned, the numbers are staggering. So the Salvation Army, they're the ones that are going to get all of these diapers and hand them out. Major Chris Flan Major Chris Flanagan, I got it right. We were talking about his name. All right, so let's talk about, first off, you give the diapers, who gets them? Well, it's families in our community that may stay in our shelter. They may come in needing some type of assistance, and when we see that they have small children with them, we're able to help them out with this. This right here goes a long way. It helps them save money or stretch their money, and that's the impact that we can have with families and in our community. One other thing I don't think people realize, WIC doesn't cover diapers. That's correct. Neither do food stamps. That's correct. How is it that we just, we didn't realize that? I'm not sure because they are a necessity. And even when, when you speak of daycare, no matter what daycare you're putting your children in, they're gonna require the newborns or the babies to have, that are still in diapers, to provide diapers. And so it's very important. It, it helps us to help the families to meet their needs and stretch their money, work within their budgets that they might have. Okay, well, we really appreciate it. And we're gonna do the best we can out well, here. Are. Thank you so much. Sure, and I tell you what guys, I said it before, I'll say it again. It doesn't matter what size, it doesn't matter what brand. We are out here at the Kroger right across from NRG Park and we will take them until seven o'clock. We will stay out here. It's gonna get kind of chilly. It's gonna get dark, but we'll be here accepting these donations because as you mentioned, there is a need, a great need, and we're going to do what we can to help. And Tiffany, why not accept uh, the cloth diapers? What's the problem there? Oh, well, the issue is that for children that go into daycare, a lot of daycares, they don't accept children with cloth diapers. You have to have the disposable kind. And a lot of moms and parents that want to work, well, they have to put their kids in daycare. So that's clearly an issue when it comes to being able to work and put your kids somewhere. All right, Tiffany, yeah. thank you for the information. Mm -hmm. Still